Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is all about chamomile. So I thought I would share like a few kind of like products slash tips on how to use like chamomile in your skincare routine. Um, and I'm going to apologise again in case it's really dark, but it's like a thunderstorm again here in England. So it's kind of dark. Plus, I'm doing this on the evening because I have like no time this weekend. So pre pre filming basically. So yeah, that's just my little ramble to start off with. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to know what I'm going to do with chamomile today, then just keep on watching. So. First of all is to create a toner. So um, this is literally a brewed chamomile tea in water. And I put it in this little dropper um, and I'm just gonna use a cotton pad and put this all over my face. Um, you don't have to have it in this, like a dropper bottle, but that's kind of all I had. You could put this in a spray bottle. I have done this before, but I think I mixed it with a green tea. Um, so feel free to actually make your own concoction, kind of like mix and match teas. Um, the only thing, they don't last that long. Um, you want to keep them in the fridge and probably last maybe a week, three to five days maybe, something like that. Um, but it's really, really nice, especially if you have it in the fridge, it's nice and cooling. Um, but obviously it's all natural and it's really, really good for your skin. Um, so the second one is actually a mask. So I've got it in this little tub um, and you can blend your chamomile if you're using the, f the flowers like I am. Um, I couldn't be bothered, but you can to make it more of a finer and probably a bit more easier to apply. Um, but yeah, this is just mixed with sugar and olive oil. So olive oil is to moisturize your skin and the sugar will exfoliate as well. Um, and obviously you've got loads of the chamomile in there, so it's all good stuff. And you can leave that on for however long you want and then just wash it off with warm water. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, so the third one is, what am I doing? The third one is to use an actual chamomile tea bag. Um, so I've got mine in here just because I was making the toner. Um, but you take it out of the tea bag and just scrub your face with the tea. That is it. It is so gentle because it's quite fine. Uh, you could add the sugar in and use that as a scrub. Um, but I find this is a really, really nice gentle exfoliant. Um, and again, it's chamomile, so it's really, really good for your skin. It's very cooling and calming. Um, if you've got any kind of acne or um, anything like that, like redness, that will help, definitely. And then the last, what is wrong with me? What's going on here? And then the last tip that I would say, which is so easy and it's probably the most obvious one, but I don't feel like many people do it, is just put the tea bag on your eye. Put the tea bag on your eye. This will be so relaxing um, and it's gonna calm down any puffiness. You can put this in the fridge and use it freezing cold. You could even heat it warm. Warm tea bags are actually great for, if you've got like a sty. I remember that time, when was it, like a few months ago when I had a sty. The only thing that would get rid of it was a warm tea bag. And I mean, it felt amazing anyway. <laughs> Um, so it's just really relaxing. It does like help with deep, like to de-puff your eyes, to relax you. And yeah, it can help with a sty. <laughs> so if anyone's got a sty, I feel you, I feel your pain. <laughs> Try a tea bag. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Are we it? Is that it? Are we done? So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.